Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dwebling.com and in this video, we'll show you how to install the Pixel Experience GSI ROM on any Android using the fastboot command. So earlier, I had made a video on how you could install this ROM using the DSU side loader app. I have also made a guide and a video on the same and now I'll show you how to do so using fastboot command. In case of DSU side loader, what it does is it, it dual boots your phone, meaning your actual firmware will be installed in one slot. Whereas in the other slot, the GSI ROM will be installed. So if you want to do a dual boot, you could use the DSU side loader. But if you are looking to install a clean flash ROM of just the GSI ROM, then in that case, you should use the fastboot command. And in this video, I will show you how to do just that. So this means that we will wipe off the system partition so that your phone only has the GSI ROM and no other ROM. So the process will wipe off all the data from your phone. Make sure to Take a backup and then let's get started. The first and foremost, let's verify that your phone actually supports the GSI ROM. For that, you will install the app known as Triple Check from Play Store. Then launch the app and make sure it's showing a project triple supported and a green check mark next to it. Near about every Android phone which launched with Android 8 or above supports project triple. So your, your phone should also support this. If that's well and good, then let's get started. First and foremost, you have to install Android SDK platform tools. This is the official ADB binary given by Google and is required to execute ADB command. So download it from the link given in my guide and extract them onto your PC. You could extract them anywhere you want. I have done the abstraction in eDrive and as you could see, these are the files of the platform tools. Once that is done, your next course of action is to enable USB debugging and OEM unlocking. So for that, go to the settings menu on your phone. Then go to about phone and tap on build number or the MIUI version in case of Xiaomi phones 7 times. You will get a prompt that you are now a developer. Now go back, again go back. Now go to additional settings. And now you have to go to developer option and enable the toggle next to OEM unlocking as well as USB debugging. You will get a prompt on your phone. So make sure to check mark I am aware of all the risks or any other prompt that appears on your Android phone and then tap on OK. You will now get an RSA key fingerprint prompt as well. So tap on OK once again. So let's now verify the debugging connection. So go to platform folder address bar, type in CMD in the address bar and hit enter. This will launch command prompt inside the platform tools folder. Now type in ADB devices and hit enter. Make sure you are getting a serial ID. If you are not getting any ID, then unplug and replug it from the PC. Disable and re-enable USB debugging. Tap on revoke USB debugging. Use the official cable that came with your phone and use the USB 2.0 port on your PC. So carry out these USB tweaks and make sure that you are getting this ID. Once you are getting this ID, your next course of action is to unlock the bootloader on your phone. Do note that this will wipe off all the data and it might make the warranty null and void as well. So if that's well and good, you could refer to my guide to carry out this task. In short, you have to boot your phone to fastboot mode and once you are in the fastboot mode, simply you have to type in fastboot, flashing, unlock and hit enter. You will get a prompt on your phone. Use the volume key to select unlock the bootloader and hit the power key to confirm. Your phone will undergo a reset and the bootloader will be unlocked. In case of Xiaomi phones, you will have to take the help of the Mi Unlock tool, but you will also have to wait for 7 days or 165 hours and only after that you will be able to unlock the bootloader. Whereas in case of all the other phone, you could simply use this fastboot command, this command, or you could also use the fastboot OEM unlock command to unlock the bootloader. In case of Xiaomi, you have to use the Mi Unlock tool. I will explain all the steps in my guide and the video. You can refer to my guide and make sure to unlock the bootloader. Once that is done, you now have to download the Pixel Experience GSI ROM. So grab hold from the official GitHub page. And as of now, I am using this Pixel Experience ARM64 AB unofficial IMG. These are the GSI ROM and not the official ROM. Do keep in mind. So grab hold of the ROM and then place it inside the platform tool folder. Once you have got the ROM, initially the ROM will be in a .xz format. So let me show you that as well. So initially, the ROM should look something like this. Just a minute. So it should be. So initially, as you could see, the ROM will be in the .img .xz. But we want the ROM to be in the IMG format. So you have to install an extractor known as 7-zip. WinZip or WinRAR might not work, so please use the 7-zip. Once you have installed 7-zip, now right click on the ROM file, 
then select show more option then choose 7 zip and then you have to select extract to pixel experience img once you have done the extraction you will get the img file something like this this is the img file which i have got so copy this img file and then place this img file inside the platform to folder on your pc so as you could see this is the img file which i have got so extract the dot exit file using the 7 zip you will get the img file so place the img file inside the platform to folder on your pc so this is our gsi rom which we have got let's move ahead to the next step so once we have got the rom file we now have to download the vv meta file so you have to download the vv meta from the same firmware version which is currently installed onto your phone as far as downloading the firmware is concerned please use the official site only in case of pixel and oneplus they upload the firmware in the official site xiaomi also uploads the firmware in the official site but in case of xiaomi the official site might not be accessible from some countries so in those countries you could either use the vpn or use the third party app websites such as the xiaomi firmware updater in case of oneplus you could also use the oxygen updater app so make sure to install the same firmware which is currently installed onto your phone you could verify the same from the about phone section and the build number section so let me show you that as well it's usually in the about phone or the build number so as you could see in my case i I am using a POCO F4. So I have downloaded the ROM. Let me show you my ROM version. This is the ROM, and as you can see, the version is 14.023515 and it's the same which is currently installed onto my phone. 14.023515. Always make sure to download the complete factory image. And if you have an option, download the fastboot ROM and not the recovery ROM. So the entire factory image instead of the OTA image and the entire fastboot ROM and not the recovery ROM. Once you have got this ROM, extract it and you might see a folder name as images or something like that. Go to that folder and copy the vbmeta.img file from there. The vbmeta file should be there in the stock ROM itself. So copy it and place it inside the platform to folder on your PC. So as of now, both the GSI ROM and the vbmeta file should be placed inside the platform to folder. So regarding this, most of the custom ROM comes in a zip format. So you could simply extract it using 7-zip, WinZip or WinRAR but in case of OnePlus and some other phones their ROM are in the payload.bin file format actually their ROM are in the zip format but upon extracting you will get a few files and the main file will be payload.bin which holds up partition files so you have to extract that bin file for extracting that bin file you have to use the Passboot Enhance tool I have given this tool in my guide, refer to my guide Download and extract this tool onto your PC. Then place the payload.bin file onto your inside the same folder inside the Fastboot Enhance folder. And then let me show you once again how you could extract the payload.bin. So just launch the Fastboot Enhance tool from here. Then go to the payload dumper tab, hit the browse button, and now you have to upload the payload.bin file and click on open. And once that is done, go to the partition tab and simply select the VB meta file and hit the extract image choose the location and click on ok and it will now extract the vv meta file as you could see so let me show you the file is there on the desktop vvmeta.img so this is usually in case of oneplus which holds the file in the payload.bin format in case of xiaomi or pixel phones they usually have the firmware in the zip format which you could easily extract so moving on make sure that the vvmeta.img and the GSI ROM in the IMG format are both are there inside the platform to folder on your PC. Once you have done so, let's now proceed ahead to the next step. So next step, we now have to boot your phone to fastboot mode. So let's carry out that task. Make sure that the USB debugging is enabled on your phone. Now open CMD window inside platform to folder and type in ADB, reboot, bootloader and hit enter. And your phone should now boot to fastboot mode in a matter of few seconds. So let's wait for the time frame. And then we'll verify the fastboot connection as well. So our phone should now boot to the fastboot mode. Do know that the screen might vary depending on the phone that you own. Currently, I'm using our Poco phone, so this is a screen of fastboot mode. That's not an issue. It might be different for different phones. You just have to type in fastboot devices and hit enter. Make sure that you are getting a serial ID. If you're not getting any ID, then you'll have to install fastboot drivers. I have give, made a guide on the same. You could refer to my guide or the video and make sure to install the fastboot drivers. Once that is done, you could also use the Windows X shortcut keys 
and choose device manager now expand the android phone section and make sure that your phone is being shown as android bootloader interface so as you can see over here this as well as the serial id signifies that a pc is able to read a phone in fast boot mode and we could now proceed ahead so once we are now in the fast boot mode we will now have to disable the verity verification check for that we will be using the disable verification command parameter and flash the vvmeta.img file to the vvmeta partition so simply you have to copy this entire command so copy this command and make sure that the file is there inside the platform tool folder now just execute this command in the cmd window and hit enter it will now flash the vvmeta and disable verification now that the verification has been disabled we could proceed ahead with the next step so next step you now have to boot your phone to the fastboot d mode so as of now we are in the fastboot mode so simply you have to type in fastboot reboot fastboot and your phone should now boot to the fastboot d mode in a matter of few seconds so let's execute the command so type in this command and wait for a few seconds and your phone should now boot to fastboot d as before the screen might vary depending on the phone that you own so let's just wait for a few seconds and as of now i had a custom recovery in sort so my phone is being booted into the fast boot d mode so let's verify the same so type in fast boot devices and hit enter so our phone is currently in the fast boot d mode and we could now proceed ahead so next up you will now have to remove the logical partition to make some space for the gsi rom because the system partition.img system partition space might not be having enough size so we will have to remove the product a partition to make room for the system gsi rom so copy this command and simply paste the command in the cmd window so just a minute let's now simply copy paste this command in the cmd window so copy this command from here and now just paste this command and hit enter so as you could see it has now removed the product a partition from here so with this we have got the space for the system dot img file or the gsi rom to be flashed so next up your next course of action is to flash the gsi rom so for the ease of convenience let's rename the file to something shorter so since it's a system file so let's rename the file to system and the complete names become system dot img so with this this is our gsi rom now and we just have to copy paste this entire command so copy this command and now let's paste the command in the cmd window so let me close this and now let's just paste the command in the cmd window so just a minute let me paste it in the cmd window let me once again copy this entire command and paste it here and now hit enter and with this the flashing will now start you will get or you might get this error message it's completely normal and just a false positive you don't have to worry about this the flashing has started and you might not be able to keep a track of the flashing progress that's not a cause of concern the flashing usually takes up to around 10 minutes because it's the system partition file which is being flashed and it's quite heavy in size as well so in rare cases it might even take up to half an hour so please don't interact with your phone and leave your phone in this state until the flashing is complete and you might get this flashing message a couple of times such as the invalid parse file format header magic is completely normal and nothing to worry about just leave your phone at this stage and the flashing will now start so as you could see it's currently flashing the system a one of 13 it will now flash the 13 different partition files so it's actually it will take some more time so let's just wait for the flashing to complete and then we will be back so guys as you could see the flashing is now complete in my case it took around 5 minutes at the very max but the time frame might be different for you that's not an issue once the flashing is complete you will now have to do a format data this will remove all the data from your phone so make sure that you have taken a backup beforehand so for doing a format data just type in fastboot space dash w and hit enter and it will now erase the user data and as you could see all the data on our phone has been now removed so the formatting is now complete and once that is done you could now reboot your phone to the newly flashed os so just 
type in fast boot reboot and it should now reboot to the os so let's carry out this task and hit enter and our phone will now reboot to the newly flashed gsi rom so let's just verify the result do keep in mind that the first boot up might take up a few additional seconds that's completely normal and nothing to worry about moreover the gsi rom which we have flash the pixel experience rom comes inbuilt with the google app packages and framework so it will also load all the google apps so that will again take up some time but it's just for the one time delay from subsequent time it will not take that much longer so just wait for the time frame for the flashing to complete and then you could set up your phone restore the data and get the job done so while our phone is booting up let me show you i have made some of the other guides by using the gsi rom since you are aware that the gsi rom is not built for one specific one single phone it's made for since they are generic system images so they are made for all the android phone which are today triple compatible so you might come across a few issues on the daily usage in that case you could refer to all my guides to rectify the issue so i'll talk about that later on let's first set up my phone so i'll be skipping the initial setup screen if you want you could take up restore the backup right now but i am simply skipping this because i want to take it with os so if you have flashed the pixel experience rom the original rom you you could verify from here that it's quite similar the gsi rom is quite similar to the official rom there is no difference as such everything is quite similar to the official rom at itself and the setup is also quite easy and you have got all the things as you could see the apps the ui the interface they are all similar to the official pixel experience rom so even if your phone does not have a pixel experience rom it's not an issue you could simply flash the G gsi rom and get going so as you could see it has all the options and if you go to the about phone as well so from here you could ver verify the from the build number you could see the pixel experience plus treble arm 64 version unofficial and this is the android 13 build you could verify from here as well it's the gsi rom and it has all the features all the features that you would would get on the official pixel rom and all the features are there in this gsi rom as well so guys on that note as i was saying since these are the generic system images so you could flash this rom across all the android phone with support project treble but in doing so you might come across a few minor bugs and issues if that happens you could refer to my all these guides and rectify the issue but if you are still facing any issues then you could drop in your queries in the comment section below and before rounding off i would again like to say that the some of the steps might vary for example in my case as you might have noticed the fast boot d mode was in the twrp recovery it will be different for different phone in case of pixel phone it will be like this in case of oneplus it will be different that's not an issue you just have to reboot your phone to the fast boot d mode using this command and the rest of the ui skin does not matter what matters is that all the commands should be executed successfully so you could get a hold of all this command from my guide i have linked the guide in the description and flash the rom once that is done your task stands complete and so on that note i round off this video if you have any queries do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching